be studying for my exams right now, but you know, procrastination. Who needs an education? Not this girl, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Yo, the oven just went off, and that means my mozzarella sticks are ready, so, like, I gotta go. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, and I'll be back once I'm done eating my mozzarella sticks. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I'll leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group link if you want to check out topics. Today's topic is authors that you want to read more from. So these are authors that you've only read like one or two books from, but you really like their writing and you need more. Honestly, I have so many authors I could say for this, but I just picked a couple off of my shelf over there instead of like the ones over there. So, without further ado, let us get started. My first author is Morgan Matson. I've only read it Since You've Been Gone, but I loved it. I loved all the characters, I loved the summery vibe, and I feel like a lot of her books have the summery vibe. I could be very wrong on this, but based off of the covers that I've seen, they all seem like super summery. And just really fluffy contemporary books, and you know, sometimes you need a fluffy contemporary book to balance out all the thrillers that your girl reads. So, Morgan Matson, I think I need to read more of her books, but like, they're never in thrift stores because apparently they're popular and people like them so they don't get rid of them. Like, come on people, get rid of Morgan Matson's books so I can have them. My second author. <laughs> you guys can probably call most of my authors because I talk about their books all the time. But my second author is Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is Sophia's first book, Vinyl. It is part of a trilogy. The second book, Radio, came out on April 5th. But I've been in exams, so I haven't been able to read it yet. But, like, it's staring at me, and I just need to read it, but I can't read it until April 28th, which is, like, I'm gonna start it right on April 28th as soon as my exam is over, and you know your girl's gonna fly through that book because I loved this book. She also has a poetry book called Hummingbird Out. I don't own the poem full book, but I've read a couple of them that she's posted on her Instagram, and she they're just so beautiful, and I just, I love her writing so much, and, like, you guys need to read vinyl, like, ASAP. Please and thank you. My third author I read back in February. This is her debut novel, and honestly, I think it's going to be a classic. It is so good, but it is Angie Thomas. She wrote Thug, The Hate You Give. I don't even know where to begin to explain my love for this book. It is such an important book, and I think everybody needs to read it. I think it needs to be in schools, and it's just so important. It's about Black Lives Matter, basically. That's the whole premise of it. If you have not had the opportunity to read Thug, definitely pick it up. And the family relationships in this book is incredible. And just everything about this book is just incredible, so read it. My fourth author is Abigail Haas. This is Dangerous Girl. This is the only Abigail Haas book that I even know about. I honestly haven't looked up any of her other books, or if she even has other books. This book honestly had me staying up till 3 a.m. reading it because I needed to know what happened next. It's a thriller book. But, like, it's written like a YA contemporary book. It's really hard to explain. I have, like, a review of it if you want to look at it. Honestly, this book was crazy, and it, just the ending, I did not see it coming, and I was just like, oh my god. And so, therefore, I need more, because if I cannot call the ending of a book, I love it. So, if all of her books are like this one, I need it in my life. Like, ASAP. And then my final book was, like... Kind of my first thriller book that I ever read, which got me into the genre, and it is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I haven't read another Danielle Vega book, although I'm pretty sure there's a second and third Merciless out. Maybe it's just the second and then there's another series that she wrote. I loved this book. Again, I have a full review. Actually, I have a full review of all five of these books. That's how you can tell they're my favorites, because I have full reviews. That's a lie. I don't have one of Since You've Been Gone. But the other four books I got. The book was kind of, like, gory, but not that gory. Like, I think it's a really good book to get you into a horror genre kind of thing, but it's not, like, terrifying. Like, if you were to read Stephen King or something like that, like, it's a very tame YA kind of horror. But I just really liked it, so I need more of her books. And I need the second book, and it's gold, and that makes me happy because I like shiny things. Alright, guys, so those were my five authors that I need to read more of their books from. I don't know why I haven't, unless, like, they don't have books out, but, like, I'm pretty sure at least four of them have other books, other than Angie Thomas, because that was her debut. But I need more, so like, get writing, Angie, get writing. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!